Hello and welcome to Reading and Learning with Kiki. Kiki, say hi to everyone. We're really excited to be here and have you here with us at Kiki's Hut to read another book. This is Kiki, the wild bird I rescued as a tiny baby. And I'm Kiki's mom, Mava, and I am the storyteller. Kiki and I read and write books of purpose, those with a message, every day. As a matter of fact, we do lots of things together every day, don't we, Kiki? You can find out all about Kiki and all of her friends at kikishut.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at kikis underscore hut and subscribe to us on YouTube below. Kiki, are you ready to read another one of your favorite books? Kiki, please help me introduce today's book. It is The Blue Butterfly, written by Sienna Stedevier, illustrated by Maladen Matajic, published by Kiki's Friends at Puppy Dogs and Ice Cream. A link to this book is below, as well as at kikishot.com and at the publisher's website, Puppy Dogs and Ice Cream. Let's get started. I'm excited, and so is Kiki. Sit comfortably and take a deep breath. Relax, be still, and listen. As you hear the story of the transformation of one of our world's most beautiful creatures, this story begins with a caterpillar. Do you know what they are? Let's give the caterpillar a name. You choose the name and let's tell the story together. What will the caterpillar's name be? Now, as we read, you choose a name, and for purposes of telling this story, I will name the caterpillar, hmm, let me think. What if I just call him Cat? Short for caterpillar. <clears throat> it was a beautiful, sunny morning when the flower of the caterpillar had slept on, opened, and welcomed the bright new day. The drops of dew were shining like little diamonds on the edges of yellow petals. Still sleepy, but very hungry, Cat crawled towards the edge. The meadow was colorful and busy that day. The flowers danced in the breeze, displaying the most amazing colors. Life was blooming and blossoming all around the caterpillar. Following his rumbling stomach, he feasted on fresh leaves and sweet nectar. There he saw many other creatures, big and small, enjoying the bounty given to them by Mother Meadow. But the most amazing creatures were the flyers. Cat watched in awe as they buzzed around, hopping quickly from one flower to another and leaving pollen trails in the air behind them. They were so fortunate to have wings like my Kiki. Some flyers had small yet powerful wings. Some had colorful, elegant wings. Oh, how he wished that he could have wings. He was just a slow and clumsy caterpillar. Munching his way through a juicy leaf, Cat saw a small gathering of many different insects, curiously talking about something if he had to guess, they were talking about the meadow ball, a party that all bugs in the meadow are invited to. It would be so much fun. They would feast and dance for days and days. They would also celebrate Mother Meadow's birthday because she gave life to all 
and was so generous in the gifts given to everyone. Cat wiggled closer to the group and heard that the party was going to be at the top of the big tree in the heart of the meadow. He knew this place. He had seen it from the top of his yellow flower. He hoped he would be strong enough to climb up to the top. Promising himself to get big and strong, he went home to get some rest. The night came quickly and he made himself comfortable on a leaf that was dangling down from the yellow flower stem. In his sleep, Cat dreamed of all the tasty snacks and goodies that would be at the annual meadow ball. And there he is sleeping in the leaf. The next morning, bugs were running and flying past him in all directions, greeting him joyfully. But deep down, they doubted that he would make it to the top of the big tree. But Cat was confident he would not give up. Then he spotted a strange creature on the plant next to him. This thing looked like it was sleeping inside a cozy nest. Cat was curious, so he sat down and just stared at it. He watched and he watched all day and it did not move. But with each passing moment, new colors emerged inside the snuggly ornament. The caterpillar completely lost track of time, enchanted by the strange sight. Soon it became night and Cat fell asleep while still munching on his leaves. As morning came, Cat was woken by the gentle sound of singing. He looked up and couldn't believe his eyes. The creature had woken up too, except it looked so different now. It was opening, unfolding, and spreading out a set of new, beautiful wings. Good good morning, he managed to say in a wobbly voice. You are the prettiest butterfly I have ever seen in my life. My name is Cat, he said. Who are you? My name is Lila, she answered with a smile. And it's very nice to meet you. They spoke together well into the afternoon before Lila had to go. She said a friendly goodbye and the little caterpillar hoped to see her again. Cat felt heartbroken and empty after Lila left. All he could think about was his new friend. He didn't even care that much about the meadow ball anymore or have much of an appetite. Sadly, he returned to his yellow flower bed and began to create a cocoon of his own just wanting to be left alone. Everything was quiet and dark in the night. Cat began to enjoy the silence and fell into a deep sleep. Cat felt cozy and comfortable in his cocoon, even as it became tighter. The sun was shining bright the next day, brighter than it had ever been. Cat opened his eyes and slowly stretched his body only to feel he was bigger than before. He flapped a pair of fresh new wings before leaping into the sky with joy. Cat had transformed into a beautiful blue butterfly. With his new wings, he knew exactly where he wanted to go.
Flying around the meadow, he searched and searched until he found Lila perched on a branch. Cat landed next to her with a proud smile and Lila fluttered up to him with a smile of her own. Together they flew to the top of the big tree where they attended the annual meadow ball, happily laughing and dancing the night away. The end. That's such a beautiful book about friends and transformation and hope and trying. Kiki is so happy you joined us, aren't you Kiki? Remember, a link to this book is below as well as on kikishut.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at kikis underscore hut and subscribe to us on YouTube below. Kiki and I will see you again next time.